Well, Edie, Friday's fire was fanned by windy conditions much like today. And while neighbors say that they've seen smaller fires in that same location in the past, this most recent fire was by far the most destructive. So I come here, a big cloud of smoke, embers flying everywhere. Yeah. That was Friday, and here's what the homes on Santa Barbara Way look like today. Yeah, no fue en la noche. Yeah. She says, thank God it was in the daytime and not nighttime because probably would have been different. Everybody asleep. The fast moving grass fire left a path of destruction, damaging several homes. Many residents still displaced as crews begin to pick up the pieces. Next time is going to be what? All of them? Fire officials say the cause is still under investigation. The neighbors have an idea of how this may have started. He got outside, he checked, and he just started screaming at her, fire, fire. And as soon as he like looked outside, he said he just saw all the homeless just spread out and leave. Residents say that homeless have moved in along this trail behind their community. In the past, sparking fights and sometimes even fires. The city has to take care of it and probably gate it like they gated that other section over there. Fairfield police know there's an ongoing issue of homelessness and that's why they have a task force in place. As far as the police department's outreach, we've had a two push two officer homeless intervention team for almost two years now. Their goal is outreach to eventually reunite them with family, but their other task is enforcement. So the homeless team will go in, they'll tag that particular camp, let the occupants know, hey, within 72 hours, after 72 hours, we'll come in and clear your camp out. But in this neighborhood, many believe there needs to be a permanent solution. And officials with Fairfield Police say they are just one part of the solution, but they have seen successes with their program with the help of other agencies. Reporting live from Fairfield, Kathy Park, KCRA 3 News. Thank